Hello and uh, good morning to you. This is the New York Times Hard Sudoku. Today is January 16, 2023. I'm in a little bit of a hurry this morning. I am looking out the window and the weather is just gorgeous. I plan to take my motorcycle up 65 kilometers over a mountain to the Central Highlands where I will have coffee and noodles before turning back home. I just love the twisters on my motorcycle. So without further ado, let's uh, just see these two eights place an eight here. And now one of these two will have to be an eight. Let's see what else we have. A nine will go here in these three cells somewhere. The threes, there's a three here and here and here, and that makes one of these a three. That's about all I can say about those at this time. But the fours seem pretty restricted. There's a four in these two rows. We need a four for row six as well. And it needs to go here because of the four here, right? So this is a four. And the one three here and the one three here puts a one and a three in these two cells here. And that leaves only one cell clear for the eight for this box eight. And it clearly can't go here because of the eight here and here. Therefore, this must be an eight. And these three cells now must be, these being a one, three, right? They must be a four, six, and a nine. And that doesn't really help me except for the four here, of course, makes this a six or a nine. A one, two, three, seven, and a nine to complete column three. Now there's a two, three, seven, and a nine all watching over this cell, therefore it's got to be a one. Now one of these will have to be a one because of the one here and here, right? Okay, there's still a two, three and a nine in this box. So this has got to be a seven, that's automatic. And now we need to find a three, nine and a two. Let's see, no, not yet, appears soon. Let's instead look at this column here. Needs to find a two, six, seven, and a nine as well. There's a two, seven, and a nine here. That means that this must be a six. And now we need a two, seven, and a nine for these three cells. And there's a two, seven here. So this is a nine. And it was a nine, six, remember, from memory. This is now a two, seven, and this is a two, seven. These are now four and six. We've got a six here and here, putting a six, of course, in this cell. Now these two must be, oh, this must be an eight because there's an eight up here. So I don't even have to think about that. And this now must be a five. So we got a five here, here and here, putting a five in one of these two cells. We got, yeah, what else have we got? Well, we got an, eight going over here and an eight coming down here. So one of these will have to be an eight. And because of the eight looking at this cell and the eight looking at this cell, we know that one of these two will have to be an eight. So that puts an eight in this cell here because there's no other place in this row five that an eight can go. So now I want three for these two cells. There's a three in this box already. So the one must go here and the three here. And that takes care of the one and the three pair we had here from the beginning. Remember those? The one here and here and here forces a one to go here. This is now a two, eight and a five. And a five can't go here. Eight can't go. So yes, an eight must go up here, of course, because we have this eight blocking these two cells. So this is an eight and this is now a two and a five, making these two a nine and a seven, yes. And the nine here prevents a nine from going here. Therefore it must be a seven and this must be a nine. And we only need one more digit up here and that is going to be a two, which by the way, blocks these three cells and the two here blocks this cell. So this is a two. And now these twos here and the two here force a two to go here. And now these two puts a two in this lonely cell. 
making this a two and this a five because we discussed those possibilities already, didn't we? A two here and here and here is a two here in row two. And these are still a four and a six, making these two a five and a seven. There is a five in the column. Therefore, this must be a seven and this must be a five. One of these two. Now there are five and a two. There's a two in the column. So this is a five and this is a two like so. Now this is a three nine and this is a three nine. Can I do something with that? Not readily, I think. Let's uh, look at this uh, column one then. It's a one, four and a six column. And there's a four and a six in this box. So this must be a one and this is now a four, six. And having found this one here and combining it with a one here and these two ones, we can now enter a one in this cell because there's no other place it can go. Now let me look at these three cells, a three, seven, and a nine. Seven must go here or here. This is a three, nine, as we just established. And a three will have to go up here in some place because of the three here. So a ghost three here and this three, can we do something over? Yes, we can. There's a three here. So this is a three. Only three cells missing here, a seven, five and a nine for these cells here. There's a seven and a nine here. So this must be the five. And what about up here? Yes, I thought we had a five here. So these two fives now force a five to go here. And these two fives here, and this third five puts a five right here. For the column, we now need to have a four and a nine. And I don't know where to place them right this moment, but there are so many digits now that it shouldn't take long. So a seven nine here and a seven nine here, of course. Let me have a look at the, this row here. One, two, a four, six, seven, and a nine still missing. There's a four, six here. So this is a seven nine. Mm, there's a six, seven here. So this is a four, nine. There's a four here. So a four will have to go either here or here. So instead of looking at this corner, let me look at this corner here. Let me look at uh, column two, for which we still need to find a one, three, seven, nine. Look at this, one, three, seven. Therefore, this must be a nine. And that makes this a nine. And now these two have to be a seven and a three. There's a three in the row, so this must be the seven, the, this, therefore the three. And the last digit down here now has got to be a one. Yes, that's it. And now this last digit must be a three. These two guys have got to be a four and a six. Let's see. They'll just have to wait a second, I think. What can we do in the top row now? Uh, four, seven, and a six. That's funny. Can't do anything except for the seven here. This is a four, six, and this is a four, six, and this is a four, six. Ah, well, we've got a nine here, here, and here forcing a nine finally to go in this corner, and that makes this a nine, and now I think we are cooking because this nine and this nine and this nine block these cells here. So this must be a nine. And now we need to find a place for the seven and it has to go up here because of these two sevens blocking these two cells. So this is a seven. And now we need a four and a six for these two and we need a four and a six for this cell, this cell solves itself because it's got to be a seven. And that makes this a seven as well, of course. This is now also a four or a six, but there is a four in the column. Therefore, this is a six, this is a six, 
this is a four, this is a four, and this is a four, making this a four and this, therefore, a six. And that makes this a six. This final cell here, it's got to be an eight. And these two guys that we had from the start, I'm still left with those, but at least now I can solve them. This is a six, and this is a four. This was a kind of a rapid I know, but this puzzle was by no means a very difficult one, and I hope that you enjoyed it. And nevertheless, I will now finish my coffee and I'll take my bike out for a day ride. I'll be back in about four hours. I hope that you will have a grand day as well, wherever you are, and I'll catch you later. Goodbye for now, and thank you for watching.